white sage, clear the way. Life can be sticky. Members of the sage clan have been used in a multitude of cultures for clearing the invisible wisps of energy that cling, barnacle-like, to people and places. Whether you think of those energies as your own spent emotions or the leftover emanations of someone else's, sage can help you make your peace and move on. Sage is sacred because it clears the way, creating a blank canvas and an open path, allowing you the opportunity to reach your full potential. Sage's appearance tells you that a block needs to be cleared, whether you can name it or not, so you can move forward. Ritual Smudge Smudging uses smoke from sage, cedar, palo santo, sweetgrass, and other culturally important plants as a blessing or a way of clearing negative energy. It does for your energy field what hitting the reset button does for your computer. The ancients believed that burning released the plant's spirit so it could assist us in keeping the air clean of emotions and emanations of illness. Modern science shows that sage smoke contains volatile compounds that kill airborne bacteria, and so the ancient and modern align. Even if you've smudged a zillion times before, smudge regularly. You can use white sage or culinary sage, which both Celtic and Middle Eastern cultures have used for this purpose. Smudging is simple to do. Take either a bundle or a loose piece of sage, light it, and then tamp out the actual flame so that the leaves are smoldering and smoking. Move the sage around your body or home so the smoke touches everything. If you're smudging a person, be sure to pass smoke over the palms of the hands because that's where we make contact with other people. Reflection letting go. Modern psychology teaches that we need to understand our emotions before we can release them. In contrast, traditional healing and shamanic practices offer release without conscious cognitive awareness. When you smudge, you're taking advantage of the latter, letting the smoke lift away whatever isn't serving your path in life. Check in with yourself. Are you willing to release without analyzing? The four elements. When I smudge, I like to use a seashell to catch the ash and a feather as a fan. This allows me to represent the four elements in my ritual. Sage equals earth. Feather equals air. Flame equals fire. Shell equals water. White-tailed deer, pause, assess, act. Step delicately and truly, deer advises. Trust your intention, intuition, and your ability to move decisively. The first step in taking decisive action is to pause and get the lay of the land. Never one for snap decisions, deer freezes filling in to each new situation, reaching out with all her senses, then steps gracefully and surely into whatever's next. She'll gift you with self-confidence, especially as you move through life's cyclical changes, those times when one season of your life is ending and another is about to begin. Trust Deer's medicine to help you make a definitive decision and then step into it with grace. Ritual. Map your mood. Unlike most other animals, deer's medicine is often specific to the age and gender of the deer. Fawn represents virginal innocence. Doe represents gentle mothering. Buck represents robust and wild virility. This triad mirrors the internal energies within each of us. At various points in our lives, our energy will align more with one than the others. 
acknowledging where we're at where we're at shows us how our creative energy is flowing. Which face of deer are you currently wearing? Are you feeling innocent and new, protective and nurturing, or robust and virile? What's the energy of this season in your life? Make a mood board to honor the aspects of deer you're currently expressing. You can do this the old-fashioned way by collecting images and tacking them to a board or with an online collage or mood board application. Reflection. The power of the pivot. While deer is a prey animal, swift and wily, she is far from helpless. Deer is known for duplicity, deceiving hunters into a false chase. Deer enters dense underbrush, then gracefully and quickly pivots, running off in a different direction. How can you, like deer, use your strengths and your smarts to change the balance of power? What change of course will cause an unexpected result? Can you pivot when things are looking overwhelming or hopeless? Step out of the history that is holding you back. Step into the new story you are willing to create. Oprah Winfrey White Willow, The Ways of Water Most people think of willow as graceful and soft, a beautiful tree with weak wood. She's happy to let you have your delusions, but underground she sends her expansive roots questing for water, the element of emotion which feeds her extraordinary flexibility. Willow loves to dunk her feet, sampling the flow of feeling, tasting anger and joy, sorrow and sass. Pliancy allows her to have great empathy without becoming overwhelmed by the, by the emotions of others. Instead, they flow through her like water, If you find yourself armoring up to handle high emotions, call on Willow to teach you the ways of water. Ritual. Sending to water. Working with water can help you handle the many emotions you feel over the course of a day. In the morning, fill a bowl with water and place it in a special spot, maybe outside in your garden or on a sunny windowsill. When you encounter strong emotions, instead of holding on to them, envision sending them to your bowl of water. At the end of the day, offer your water to the earth or a potted plant, asking that your spent fillings be composted to help something new grow. Notice how you feel on the days when you perform this ritual. Notice how water softens and dilutes intense fillings and keeps them from overwhelming you. Are you an empath? Set the intention to send others' emotions to your water instead of letting them swamp you. Reflection. What's stagnant? If you find yourself getting yanked hither and yon by the pull of your feelings, Call on Willow to remind you of the importance of letting emotions flow and then go. Emotional waters aren't meant to be stagnant. Still water breeds disease and blood-sucking mosquitoes, and nobody wants that. Call on Willow to remind you to stay open so that emotions can flow through you with grace. Do you know the difference between thoughts, which happen in your head, and feelings which happen in your body? Can you have a feeling without putting it into words? When you give words to a feeling, do you then chew like do you then chew them like cud, masticating and replaying the same words over and over again? Whooper Swan Love Fiercely. In the darkness of year's end, swan flies north. 
North is where the spirits gather, so Swan willingly carries with her the souls of the recently departed. She loves them as fiercely and tenderly as she loves her own mate, and so sees them all the way home. Some say that when she returns in spring, a wisp of those she carried clings to her, a mirror and a memory, making Swan feel like family, like kin, to those who have loved and lost. Perhaps that's why we sometimes see Swan rising from the lake, shape-shifting into the form of our beloved, demanding the sacrifices that only the fierce love can fathom. Swan reminds us that when we love fiercely, our love is never truly lost. Ritual Choose love again. Swan is woven into our world myths, teaching us of love that is above all tenacious. Swan tends to stick it out, mating for life, and learning year after year how to live in partnership. This doesn't mean it's easy. Swan migrates vast distances. Some biologists say this pattern allows for a little time to change mates. And then she and her partner will start a new family every year and raise them together. How do you find the strength and endurance for this kind of love? Sometimes it's as simple as choosing it over and over again. Either before bed at night or first thing in the morning, choose your love anew. Whether this is the love of a person, a pet, a project, or yourself, put your hands on your heart, take a few deep breaths, and remember why you love what you love. In ancient Celtic cultures, marriages were set for a limited duration giving the couple the opportunity to choose whether to stay or go at the end of the, con of the contracted time. Give yourself the same freedom of choice every day. Reflection. Will love change you? Many moons ago, a young hero named Angus fell in love. He fell hard and fast and forever which was odd because he had only ever seen true love when he had only ever seen his true love when she visited his dreams. Sayer haunted his nights, singing to his heart till he was sick with love, but seeing her only in dream time, he had no idea she was the daughter of the fairy king. Angus was listless and useless, wanting only to sleep and dream so he could be with Sarah. Fed up, Angus's father sent him on a quest to find this mystery woman. Angus searched and sought and finally found her, quickly realizing she was no mortal woman but a fairy princess. Angus approached the fairy king and asked if he could court her. The king snickered, Good luck with that, lad. She's a wild one. Oh, and by the way, she spends half the year as a swan. The fairy king didn't realize the power of love to change both wild women and young heroes. Are you willing to transform yourself to understand the one you love? Angus was. He spent half the year as a swan, flying with Sarah and her swan maidens, and they lived happily ever after. How will love change you?